Hello, it's me. It is Sunday night and it is about time for dinner. I've just fed the cat. I've already fed the dog and it's time to eat. I went and got onions and I got some mushrooms. So that was good. Does everybody want a chance? Do you want to go outside? So... bunch of yard work done. I spent about two and a half hours in the yard today. So I got yard work done. Still not enough yard work, but I got some. And then I got, um, I went and showed another house to some other clients. Not my little one in North Portland, but some ones that are closer to home. And they, um, took a look at one that needs to be, oh my god, it's, it was somebody's project house and they walked away from it and it's a short sale and I don't know if you guys are familiar with short sales but they're messy and they, um, uh, they're not going to get what they're asking for it I don't think. And um, but my clients might offer them something for it, maybe half what they're asking for it. I don't know if the bank would go for that, but who knows. All they can say is no, right? My clients aren't terribly concerned about the first time buyer home credit. Well, first of all, because I'm not sure they'd qualify for it. <laughs> so, they may a lot of money, they make way more money than what, than the house that they're looking for could potentially be worth. Does that make sense? So they're not buying as much house as potentially they could because they're really frugal. And they're really just really frugal. However, I did figure out, if you guys know anybody that wants to buy a $3 million house, I'll find them the $3 million house and I could quit my job and actually pay off all my bills and still have enough to get by on and actually do full-time <laughs> real estate or have enough to probably get by for the rest of the year. It would be cool. <laughs> so, anyway, um, uh, what else? I think that that is, I'd have, if I could sell two or three of those, man, I could pay my own house off. <laughs> Uh, uh. I was like, wow, even at like 2.5% commission, a $3 million home is like unheard of. But you know what? How many hours have I spent working with my other clients that you guys have heard me bitch and moan and complain about, and I haven't made a dime? So, you know, it's like, how much do you make an hour? It's hard to say. On some clients, you make absolutely nothing. And on others, you make 5 or $10 an hour, depending on how much you look at them, work for them. Anyway, I haven't been terribly hungry up till now. And I got hungry. This is going to be way too big. But fortunately, I can put it in here. home and I was going to take mom up to my dad's grave but she said that her foot's been hurting too much. She needs to get some shoes with some support in them and she doesn't really have any shoes with support in them. Just about. Oh, 
there. Oh, you know we're just going to put these in. One more and I need to get it out of that. Into the airtight container. Put them in the fridge and we'll be good. Anyway, so... Tomorrow she has the hearing for that lady, and I did take tomorrow morning off, however I need to take my foster daughter's dad to work because apparently they thought he was late on Friday, however who knows what he did after I dropped him off. I know I'd, I was at work on time, actually I was at work before 8 o'clock, and I had dropped him off, and he says he was there, I don't know, you know. Everybody's everything all the time. I've decided that much. I did go watch a friend of mine speak today at the Mind, Body, and Soul. That was kind of cool. She was, um, she wrote a book about some women who, oh, I gotta get that book over to my mom, uh, who, uh, dealt with cancer in one form or the other. And I believe that, uh, one of the groups that she was most involved with was, um, uh, ovarian cancer, which hits close to home because I spent a month with my sister while she dealt with, um, she was almost second stage ovarian cancer, and, um, she was like borderline. If they hadn't caught it when they caught it, uh, the doctors, you know, didn't know what would have happened, and it was lucky because she's like me, she's you know, she's been pretty healthy most of her life, and so she hasn't really worried about any of that. And we don't have uh, a lot of cancer in our family, a little bit here and there, but, you know, not, not really on the women's side. And not really from my mom or dad's side, you know, from other parts of the family. You know, from by marriage, but nothing, so we've just never really worried about it. So when she got, when she was diagnosed, it was kind of stand up and take notice because uh, both of us were feeling pretty immune to the whole thing. neither here nor there, but she made it through it. She came out the other side, so that was good. Um, so, um, it was kind of scary though. I mean, for me, I spent, like I said, I spent the month of November with her a few years back, and, um, uh, it was the first time I'd been away from my family here, you know, my our parents, my sisters and my parents, and then uh, Robert. I've been away with, from Robert for a while, but never a month. And um, uh, I never, I had not yet to be away from Gabby for that long, and I think that. Um, my little miss, anyway, and I think that that freaked her out, so before I left, I made her a quilt. Made her a quilt and a pillow. So, anyway, so, alright, well, I will let you go, and I will chat with you a little bit later. My shoulder hurts tonight. I'm going to have to take some aspirin, and uh, I will talk with you a little bit later. Okay, bye.